problem remains, how do we deal with this barrier around the nucleus? Power. Pressure. However hard that door is bolted, if we, if we keep at it, if we kick it hard enough, it's got to open. Now, with my cyclotron, gentlemen, I have discovered ways of speeding up electrical charges within a magnetic field to such an extent that by directing them against selected targets, we can significantly affect the atom's inner structure. Furthermore, I... I have it. So, uh, what's its output? Well, uh, this machine, gentlemen, the 60-inch cyclotron is capable of generating energies equivalent to nearly 20 million volts. Yes, but, uh, I'm not satisfied. No, already we have designs for a cyclotron employing a 184-inch magnet. My goal, gentlemen, 100 million volts. Yes, with, with your help, perhaps. <laughs> Yes, and uh, now I think you just might enjoy looking over our controls here. Uh, Ed, uh, Ed, would you, uh, would you show these gentlemen around, show them the controls for us? I'll, I'll join you in a minute. Hello, Oppie. If this is a bad time. No, no, a little piece of marketing. Yeah, those fellows have got a half a million dollars to give away. <laughs> Yeah, okay, Abby, okay. Oh, I didn't say anything. Yeah, all right. What'd you want to see me about, Ernest? I want your advice, Abby. Okay. Okay, you read the new work from Europe. On fission? Mm, sure. Okay. And you realize its implications. Obviously. Yeah, a weapon. A frightful weapon. A possibility of one. Yeah, okay, even that. But what are we going to do about it? I don't know, Abby. I talk to people around here. I don't... I don't know what they're talking about. 